I had been uh, dealing with pain um, for about seven or eight years. And um, my uh, doctor, as a his prescription or for the, uh, to take care of the pain was to uh, just be on uh, different types of medicine. You know, I didn't want to live on pain. Uh, well, as time went on, my my mood, my attitude, and everything towards pain, towards you know the medicine and everything, got really really bad. And uh, so my wife and I sat down and and we we wanted to try something different. And that's when we heard about the uh, pain rehab clinic there in the Mayo. It was a blessing actually, because uh, I was I was kind of tired of that kind of life, and so was my family. And it was uh, uh, something that was able to help me break free from all that other stuff. I just remember uh, living day to day and moment by moment, um, trying to control the pain uh, through medicine. And it was just, uh, it was difficult. Uh, every little thing that I did uh, was just miserable. Um, and I couldn't do the things that I really enjoyed doing. Um, I, I was really big on golfing and, and running, playing basketball, football, things like that. Very active person and those things I just couldn't do anymore. And, um, uh, and then I remember when we went through the, the clinic and every, you know, there, the, the doctors and the, everybody was helping me teach me how to do things differently and how to, uh, in a sense, you know, exercise stretches and things like that, things that I'm still doing every day. Uh, and, uh, it has been, uh, transformative to me. I, um, I can do things today that I wasn't able to do uh, seven or eight years ago. I have been able to do you know, strength training again. I've been able to actually go golfing again. Having golfed in about uh, five or six years prior to that, and uh, and I was able to work my way up to through again through stretches and strength training and all that stuff to to get to that point. And it's purely because of what I learned at the PRC. It was. It was, it was really was all the techniques that I took and it took years for me to get to where I was comfortable doing it. Um, but I never gave up and doing those things. And that was, uh, eventually was able to do, uh, have fun and, and enjoy the things I, I, I can do again. I can sleep well again. Um, I can sleep on my, cause my pain was in my back. And so my, I can sleep on a good, good mattress nowadays. I can, uh, I can sleep through the night without having to wake up, wake up and turn over and all kinds of things. And so all of those things are credit from the things that I learned uh, there at PRC. The biggest challenge, I think, or I say, yeah, some of the challenges were just learning how to do things new, learning how to do things different. But then after I graduated was being consistent and all of those things that they, they, were, they were teaching us. Um, I, I spoke with, you know, some other people in my class and, and stuff after we all graduated and we all kind of fell off a little bit. We stopped doing our stretches and we stopped doing our exercises and things like that. And we all felt like things were getting worse again. And, um, and I, I definitely felt like that. And when I resolved into being a little bit more disciplined in that, um, getting up every morning, still doing my stretches, things that I still do today, you know, uh, you know having a, a, a regimen of, uh, you know, strength training exercises and stuff like that that I'm doing. When I've disciplined myself to do that, it, my body feels better. My, my mental health is better. Um, I don't have to worry about the things that I'm going to be doing that day. Um, and it has just been, um, uh, it's, it's, it's been different. Um, but the hardest thing was just to, to discipline myself after PRC, because everything's nice and easy when you first graduate, but you know, it's the, it's the continuing months and years afterwards that has, has, has made a difference, you know, having to have that mindset to never give up, keep doing what I was taught and and uh and and take it long term and not just assume that that short term is going to fix everything because it's not the short term is not going to fix it
when I first returned home, um, it, it was, it was, like I said, it was difficult. Um, it was not one of those things that, uh, I immediately knew how to do. Um, and so I took some experimenting, um, and eventually what I've, what I figured out is that, um, I need to wake up earlier in the morning and, and you can ask my wife and my kids now they like, they'll, they'll see me in the middle of the floor, you know, just doing stretches, um, just about every morning, you know, and I'll, I'll wake up, I'll go downstairs, you know, get ready a cup of coffee and, you know, I'm starting my, my calisthenics, my exercises, you know, and, um, uh, and so I had to, I had to learn to do that. I had to adjust what time I woke up and what time I went to bed, uh, because of that. And, uh, uh, and then, uh, arrange for me to find time or to be, to have the time to, to exercise. So I go to gym, I go to a gym now to exercise, you know, to get strength training and stuff. And so, um, it's, um, I do that about at least two or three times a week. And then, um, and so I have to work schedule as well. Um, but a lot of things that I was having difficulty doing when I first graduated, I don't have those difficulties anymore. I mean, I can work in the yard all day long nowadays, you know, I can, um, I can, you know, sit on a, a lawnmower where, you know, I'm bumping up and down and, you know, I can do that for three or four hours and it, you know, get off and my back doesn't hurt. You know, so and that's I, I clearly that's in a result of just having, you know, having the discipline to keep going, to keep doing what I learned. Um, and and uh, so, yeah, it was it was it was a change. Um, had to cut some things out of my life at first, but then I had to uh, figure out a way how to get back and put them back into my life. Things that I enjoy doing. the application of how to, how to do things a little bit smarter when it comes to, you know, just how I bend down, how I pick up, um, making sure that I'm not, you know, like for me, because my pain was in my back, you know, uh, learning to lift more with my legs instead of my back. Um, and so, you know, those things really made, I think made a difference. Um, but I mean, I, I can't underestimate the, uh, the, um, stretching in the morning and just doing some calisthenics first thing in the morning. Um, it was, it, it completely changes my day between the days I don't do it and the days I do it. And so the, um, the, those, those techniques, those continuing stretches, those continuing working on, um, strengthening and the calisthenics and stuff, it, it's huge because of doing it long-term, like I have been, I'm, I'm telling you, I can see completely different person, not just from before PRC, but even the years, you know, a couple of years following PRC and being seven years removed from it. Now it is, uh, my life is still getting better. It's still getting, it's still changing because I'm applying those things. I would say, yes, I, I, I am doing some kind of weekly schedule. Now, is it, is it completely planned out? Um, uh, like, uh, like how, like how we were taught. No, but it's more of just uh, uh, in my mind, you know, it's, it's been a, a weekly routine. It's not something that, you know, I've said, all right, well, this is when I'm and when and where I'm going to do these things. Um, but it is, uh, it's, it's turned more into a routine uh, and just making sure that I still do it. There's, there are certain days that I'll, I'll get up and I don't want to go to the gym. And so, you know, and then I'll, I'll say to my mind, no, I'm not going to go today no. And, you know, and I just lay in bed a little extra long, longer. Uh, but then I say to myself, you know, the next day or whatever, you know, kind of my off day, I'll be like, well, I didn't go yesterday. I need to go today. So either way, I'll still get my, my exercise in my routine, you know, kind of helps with that. Um, but, uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have to plan too much out because it's more, it's more ingrained, I think now than anything else. I have found joy in every aspect of my life where it wasn't always there before. And I think even my, 
my family would say that I'm, I'm a better husband and a better father because of some of the things that I've learned that there, that my attitude is better. You know, I'm not constantly uh, talking about my pain or I'm not constantly worried about my pain and how things are going to be and feel. And, um, and therefore it kind of makes them happier as well. And so it's kind of been a, it's kind of changed my whole family's life in a sense. Well, before the program, I think everybody, you know, kind of knew that I was not in a good place. Um, and then, um, uh, during the program, you know, they kind of made everything work, you know, had to, had to go off for three weeks and, 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 you know, I live four hours away from Jacksonville. So not an easy thing for me to, you know, get up and do that every single day. So I had to live there for three weeks and then, um, and so they kind of, you know, made ends meet while I was gone. Um, when I got back, it was, uh, uh, they tried to keep things as normal as possible. You know, they still tried to, uh, but they were encouraging, uh, at least my wife was probably more than anyone else, just encouraging to, to try to understand the things that I was learning and how I was trying to change and do things. And, um, and uh, it was, it was up and down at first, uh, especially first, first two years, I would say it was up and down, but it's gotten uh, a lot better uh, since then, so. Whatever you're learning, make sure you understand that this is going to apply for the rest of your life and you have to apply it to the rest of your life. If you try to do your own thing, if you try to slip off and not, and not apply those things, uh, you will fail. Um, it, will, it will not take, uh, you will have wasted three weeks of your life and everything that those doctors and uh, have all the great staff that they have there their their job is to help you change your life and if and you're you're letting them down if you don't do it if you don't keep it and and maintain it and they're such great people you really want to succeed because of how great they are and so it's um i would say just be prepared either as you're going into it or be prepared as you're coming out of it to know that this is this is what you have to do uh, to, to continue on every single day, work it into your routine, change your life, let it be a life change, allow it to be a life change. Don't try to, you know, do your own thing. Don't try to find new ways to, 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 to control your pain. Use the techniques they, they, they teach you. And then over the months and over the years ahead, you will see a difference. I promise you, because I, I, I have that I'm the living proof of that difference.